Hey, Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, who the world inwardly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world inwardly calls Jesus. Want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me this truth. Want to give a peace and blessings to Akim across the four corners of the earth, who teach this truth from rest I like to do so. Go me a quick video, man. Lord willing, it's edifying to you, Akim. Lord willing, you brothers get something from the, from the video. Lord willing, brothers get motivated to, to do a video or. Uh, or low on this video spark you to do a video, um, and to keep pushing, man. So, uh, you know, in Isaiah twenty four, uh, the fourth verse. Okay, it's talking about you know what's going to happen to a hottie people, right? What's going to happen to to you know really to this place, okay? And the people of this world, because you got to understand, right? Who rules the earth? The proud uh, rule. Uh, uh, rules the earth, okay? And I'm talking about Esau and the nations, but I'm also talking about two-thirds. Uh, well, they, the heathens in Esau, they rule the earth, but, you know, who follows behind them, okay? I'm not, they don't rule the earth, but who follows behind them? Two-thirds of our people, right? They're still in captivity, right? Heathens rule the earth, but our people is in captivity, which they don't see that. For whatever reason, they don't see that, but they follow behind these heathens, man. And these heathens are very proud. They're very... They think they can't be touched, but, you know, in the time to come, they will be touched, as the scriptures say. Okay, this is Isaiah 24 and 4. It says, the earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languish and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish, okay? The earth is, right, so the haughty people of the earth do languish. They be, they're going to become weak, okay? When it's when all the start fading, man, okay? All the start fading, all the things that... uh. You know, that you people are used to doing all the things that you people, like right now, people are used to going out, partying. People are used to, you know, they're not used to being home this much. So people are going, so like, people are going crazy, man. People are going crazy, you know. People are almost about to, about to lose it, man. Okay. But if, you know, I'm going to start at one. Just to give you a preview of what's kind of going to happen. Isaiah 24 and 1 says, Behold, the Lord Yahweh maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as the as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with the master, as with the maid, so with the with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the, so with the borrower. As with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. The land shall be utterly empty and utterly uh, spoiled. For the Lord Yahweh hath spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The word languish and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Exactly. Okay, how is it defiled, right? Through the madness that goes on. Through the madness that, you know, is is being pumped by, you know, the heathens of this world that's being pumped, you know, and being, you know, pushed out, you know, by these people who are on the earth. When you go to Job, it tells you that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So none can come, none righteous can't come out the wicked. Okay? So guess what? If, if every, you know, if every every city uh, or every kingdom has, got, has gotten destroyed, every wicked kingdom has gotten destroyed, what makes you think... In, Every wicked kingdom that's been ruled, you know, by uh, by uh, us, that's been ruled by these heathens, if they all got destroyed for not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments in, in their disobedience, what do you think is going to happen in this kingdom? You got to understand, America represents you, everything, anything you see, anything um, you could think of as far as that's, that has to do with sin. Right, this place upholds it, man, and you can't really win in this place without sinning. Okay, in order to really have riches in this world, you gotta. I'm talking about riches, riches. You gotta, you gotta do something foul. Okay, that's why it says the earth uh, is the foul and the inhabitants thereof. Okay, it says uh, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, hath the curse devoured the earth. Uh, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burnt. So uh, it says, therefore, um, 
the inhabitants of the earth are burnt and few men left. Okay? Exactly. Okay? And we understand that a burning and destruction is coming to America. From who? Ultimately from Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, but the Mosai, he, he uses men to act out what he wants. Right? So all these other nations are going to going to send nukes over here. And it's in the scriptures. It's written. Okay? It's written. Okay? It, and... and we're just the messenger, man. We understand the message. So we have to push it out and, and, and warn you people. And whoever could get it, could get it. And Lord willing, we could bid the elected of marriage. That's our job. Okay? It says, uh, the, um, I'm just jumping down to, uh, uh, to 10. It says, well, mirth chapter ceases, noise, rejoice, and if, uh, I'm going to jump down to 10 just to get to the get more to the point. Isaiah 24 and 10, it says, the city of confusion is broken down. Okay? What is the city of confusion? The city of confusion is America. What, you know, this is the virgin daughter of Babylon. What does Babylon mean? Babel means, that means confusion. And why does it mean confusion? Because everything you can, like, everything is backwards here. Everything is, it's not straight here. You know, it's filled with madness and unrighteousness. It says the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. In the city, in the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. Let me go back to 11. Slide. It says there's a crying for wine in the streets. Right? Yeah. Okay, there's a crying for wine in the streets. Man, people going to be tore up, right? They're going to be tore up. They're going to be ready to, to, to have something to take their mind off of what's going to happen, man. Okay? And you're not going to be able to. You have to bear everything that, that, that is coming, man. Okay? Since there is a crying for wine in the streets, all joy is darkened, right? And this is what, what place shows more joy and source more folly than this, this place in America. Okay? Not not one place. This place upholds it. This place it motivates people to do the madness. Since all joy is darkened, the mirth of the land is gone. In the in the city is left desolation, empty, right? And gate the gate is smitten with destruction. Okay. Um I'm gonna jump down to nineteen. I'm gonna end it with twenty and I'm gonna uh, grab some precepts and end it. And it's just Isaiah 24 and 19 says, the earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean, dissolved, and it, uh, the earth is moved exceedingly, okay? The earth shall, shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Now, earlier I said, what's, how is this place going to be taken out? Through missiles, okay? And I'm going to grab a precept and second edge is a little willing to, to prove my point. It says, the earth shall, be, shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed uh, like a cottage in, in the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall uh, shall fall and not rise again. But what's going to make the earth real to and fro? Okay, those nuclear missiles, man. I'm going to prove it. Start at. <laughs> I'm gonna start at. This is Second Ezra sixteen and twelve. It says the earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof, the sea ariseth up with the waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and and the fishes thereof also, before the Lord and before the glory of His power. For strong is the right hand that bendeth of the bow. His arrows that that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. Yeah, they're going to hit their targets when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Okay? Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they, until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. So the fire is started. What started that fire? The, those arrows that begin, to get, that begin to be shot from one end of the earth 
to the other. Because when you go to 13, it says, when they began to be shot into the ends of the world. Okay? So that lake of fire that you people are talking that you think is a burning place on the ground. This is this is this is the uh what's gonna kindle that lake of fire, which is gonna be here in America, not a burning place under the ground. Okay, it says the fire is kindled, it shall not be put out till it consumes the foundations of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great and great death, the beginning of wars, uh, and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? Okay? Like we were reading in Isaiah. Okay, it's gonna be a one for, for it's gonna be a cry for wine in the streets when all joy is, is ceased. Okay? This is some of that. This is some of the destruction that's getting ready to be pumped out, as we're getting ready to be pushed out in the time to come, man. Why? Because you got the new world order trying to that's trying to be set up. You know, you got these people that want to take full advantage of you people, man. You got the elites of this world that's trying to take that want the power over over you people. You know, and we the messengers, right? And we understand, so we have to bring it out, right? And through faith, you know. Through faith, through Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, we believe we're going to be protected, man. Okay? You know? So with that, Lil' Willing video is edifying. Lil' Willing Brothers got something from this video. Lil' Willing has sparked you to do a video or to teach or to read. Um, like I said, it wasn't going to be too long. But Lil' Willing, I hope, you know, I, I covered the, the points in this video um, and, and edifies you, brother. So with that, Lil' Willing was edifying. I want to say... Uh, uh, I want to give all praises to you. How about Shumi? I was shy. I want to say Shalom to you. I came Shalom.